While the corruption debate rages on, Vishnu Som reports on how the Augusta scam has had a direct impact on our defense. With Finn Mechanica, the company which makes Augusta Westland helicopters blacklisted, the Navy's plan to buy torpedoes made by a subsidiary of this company for its cutting-edge submarine is now blocked. The Calvary, the Navy's first Scorpion-class submarine, out on sea trials for the very first time. Meant to be the cutting edge of the Navy's attack submarine fleet, the Calvary has a problem. She has no teeth. That's because this torpedo, meant to be her primary weapon against enemy submarines, is missing. The 1500 crore rupee deal has been on indefinite hold since 2013, since the company that makes it, WASS, is a subsidiary of Finn Mechanica, the parent company of Augusta Westland, which was blacklisted in the VIP chopper scam. We've been able to access this. It's a Ministry of Defence vigilance document. It's uh, from August 2014 and it says quite clearly in the event of a dealing with Finn Mechanica companies where the vendor has been declared as L1, in other words, the lowest bidder in a particular deal, all such procurement acquisition cases shall be put on hold until further orders. But the problem is this. No further orders have been issued, which is why we've got this submarine, the Calvary doing trials, without this its primary weapon, the Black Shark torpedo. The Navy is worried that it would take at least five years for a fresh tender to be signed if they are told to follow that route. For a submarine, at the end of the day, the credibility is determined by the ordnance it carries. So to have a submarine without torpedoes is a bit of an oxymoron. In a few days, the Calvary will die for the first time. Her young crew will be aware that the state-of-the-art sub can listen to enemy submarines but can do absolutely nothing to attack them if required. Vishnu Shom for NDTV.